Hello everybody and welcome to a video where I show you all the food that I'm cooking. So hang out with me as I show you what's for dinner. And let me know if you're going to try any of these recipes down below and let's get started. Tonight's dinner includes everything that you see here. We're making a fried sausage with cabbage. I've never really cooked cabbage before so this will be new but I do love cooked cabbage. So this is everything um that you need in this container um the recipe calls for red wine vinegar i do not have that but i all i always have red wine and i currently have white vinegar and i looked up online basically you do like one to three parts so like one part red wine th uh three parts white distilled vinegar so i did like and i need like not that much so i did half of a tablespoon of red wine and then like two like one and a half to two tablespoons of the white distilled vinegar and i'm letting it marinate in its juices so that's the plan i'm gonna serve it over rice slice up our turkey sausage here we got our onions getting some nice color over here now we're gonna add our sausage you go people so we're gonna salt and pepper it I'm not gonna add too many seasonings right now, but I have ground pepper again. It's just so exciting. Okay, according to Google, you peel off the outer pieces of cabbage. I've never cooked with cabbage before, so I am learning with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna cut this guy, the little end nub, cut him off, just like that. And then you cut it, it says vertically. Oh wow, okay, yep, mm-hmm. I'm so good, I need better knives, y'all. My dog is not happy with something that's going on. Okay, you're supposed to take out the bitter, the, the bitter core. Yeah. It looks like I'm doing it right. Yeah. Who knows, you guys. I'm cooking this wrong. I'll know by the end, okay? Because it'll taste bad. I'm not entirely sure what the best way to wash the cabbage was, so I just gave everything a nice rinse. Okay, now I'm going to slice this cabbage. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, if you're going to judge my cabbage cooking here, I'm very sorry to you because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me, everybody. Oh, I was supposed to add the red wine vinegar in a long time ago. I was like, where do we put the red wine vinegar in? It was supposed to be forever ago, so we're adding it now. Oopsies. All right, let's do it. Which one's this one? Alright, we got salt, paprika, garlic powder. It's also back in my life. I should open this. Yeah. It's calls for parsley. We don't have that. We're using Italian seasoning today. And last but not least, crushed red pepper flakes. Right. And basically, we wait for the cabbage to wilt down. It's... All right, here's the sausage and cabbage all wilted down and brown. I just have a pot of rice, and then I made us some garlic bread. Okay, here's dinner all plated up. I'm really excited about this dinner. I feel like it's going to be very, very good. I shall update. All right, here is tonight's recipe. I'm making black pepper chicken, or like... I'm loosely following the recipe of black pepper chicken. So in this bowl, I have some chicken thawing out. And so I got chicken. I just doused it with a ton of black pepper and salt earlier today and let it sit. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right, the first step is I'm going to get my onions and peppers sliced up.
I definitely thought I had already started heating my pan over here. Turns out I didn't. <laughs> rice over here because it's probably gonna boil over because that is my life for slicing up my chicken I'm hoping that it's thawed all the way but it's not honestly this is probably not best case scenario for me but whatever should I slice them into smaller bits because it's not fully thawed out this is just like the honest truth about my life right now peppers so I have the sauce has like gotten a nice consistency rice looks like rice I taste tested the, the chicken I gave some to Garrett it was good stuff very black pepper forward which is what we wanted because this is black pepper chicken all right here it is all plated up honestly this is like this looks good I'm excited about it okay friends it's another day and people want to eat in our house, so we are making Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. So, and with, um, just with a mac and cheese on the side, have whatever you'd like on the side, but this is like basically what the ingredients call for. Um, obviously I don't have everything because there's stuff on the ingredients list that I didn't have that I said, well, that's fine. So, okay. I'm going to slice up my onion and pepper. Are starting to get a little soft. Alright, 
Worcestershire. You guys can't see anything in there. Could add some Worcestershire sauce to this. That is going to give it that flavor that we love. Once I'm about to do that, it's not necessary as I'm going to toast my buns in the oven. Now it's time for the best part. I'm going to add our provolone in because that's what makes this meal a Philly cheesesteak. Sloppy Joe. You know? Alright, so I'm just going to. See how this goes. Hopefully, it starts to melt soon. Melt cheese, you can do it. Me trying to be like all aesthetically pleasing and just failing miserably. Here it is, and then when you stir it, the cheese kind of pulls around. It's kind of like lunch meat. <laughs> all right, here she is. I'll plate it up. Philly cheesesteak sloppy joe with a toasted bun. We shall see how it goes. Hey friends, so tonight for dinner we are having chicken parmesan, chicken parm on spaghetti squash as our noodles. Um, I am marinating this chicken. I'm, I took a clip of that so I will insert it at the beginning of this dinner clip, but this is what's for dinner. And instead of parm, <laughs> mozzarella we're just like really following recipes in this what's for dinner like it's just like ingrained in who we are so let's get started all right second or third meal i don't even know what meal number we're on um we're gonna finally do our chicken parm spaghetti squash so i'm gonna thaw out two pieces of chicken and marinate it in this some italian dressing dressing and italian seasoning and then we'll cook this later to shred up some cheese. I would say probably like a cup of cheese by the time you're done shredding is what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm trying to get the mixture ready for the chicken parm itself. And I thought I had flour, but unfortunately I have two bags of sugar in my cupboard and not a bag of sugar and a bag of flour. So instead, we're gonna use cornmeal and breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna get this mixture going. All right, in this bowl here, we're gonna add about one cup of cornmeal, one cup of breadcrumbs. Why do I do that? Why is it my cursor life to drop everything in there? One cup, add some eggs, two eggs. Two eggs right in there. Got that in there. Now we're gonna put our seasonings. We got oregano, crushed red pepper, onion powder. You guys know how I feel. And then I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in there too, for good measure. All right, I'm gonna, well, I made a fatal error and I put the eggs in the mixture instead of dipping the chicken in it first, but whatever, we're just moving on because <laughs> life happens. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just did that. That's so funny. I was like, this is like a dough. Why is it like a dough? Well, there we have it. There's the answer. It's because I put the eggs in the mixture. So, and eggs are expensive. So we're just gonna make this work because that's all. That's the option that we have here. Okay, now that we have our chicken here, we're gonna take our crumb coat and I'm literally just gonna like, like stamp it onto the chicken. Oh my gosh. What a fail, you guys. I'm so mad at myself for this, but that's okay. It's gonna taste fine. This isn't gonna be like dredged in it. 
I don't know about this, you guys. I wouldn't suggest this method. Of course, the recipe didn't suggest this method either. I just didn't read the recipe and I just started putting everything in a bowl. Which normally doesn't bite me in the butt. But today it is. So that's that is where we're at. We're just trying to get this coat thing to stick on the chicken here. Alright, we're gonna flip our spaghetti squash for the last 20 minutes. And this is where it gets like really smoky. You can flip it because the oil is like on the bottom there, you see? Alright. To our sauce, we're gonna add pepper, the powder, high-end seasoning. Honestly, cooking pretty well. I don't know if the this stuff is gonna sit on there, but we'll find that out later. I'm gonna scoop on top of this some marinara sauce. This is just like not a cute little meal, let me tell you that much. But this will help it not feel so dry, I feel like. And then... Just a little scoopy scoop. I have no idea. This is definitely not the correct way to make this dish, okay? This is a what's for dinner at Becky's house. This is not make the dinner this way. It's foolproof. Take this cheese, a little bit left of cheese that I have, and I'm going to sprinkle that on top. See what dinner looks like. So I got my spaghetti squash, my little chicken parm bites. I'll let you know, it's not going to stick together, but I'll let you know if it tastes good. Extra sauce in there for it to go on my spaghetti squash. And we had these buns from yesterday's meal and my mom used to make garlic bread like this when we had leftover buns and I absolutely love it. My little side salad was dressing. That's dinner. Let me show you it all plated up. Okay, here's dinner all plated up. <laughs> when I was picking up the chicken, the breading definitely fall fell off, which we knew that was going to happen anyways, but I shall update you guys on the screen with <laughs> what it's like. Okay, you guys. We are on to the fifth and final but what's for dinner recipe i am going to be making lemon pepper salmon rice and green beans this is mostly for you guys to see the lemon pepper recipe because everyone knows how to make rice everyone knows how to make some frozen green beans so let's get started all right here we go juice of a full lemon and then slice up the lemon all right so we've got lemon galore because i don't want to do too much lemon like i did that one time in the other recipe well i'm not going to pour it on the green beans so that's the only thing that's what we learned and then all the recipe called for besides lemon juice was salt and a lot of pepper lemon pepper being the name so we're just gonna Pepper her up and onion powder to this because who am I, you know? Who would I be if I did not? So a little garlic, a little onion powder, or a lot of onion powder. Maybe a little oregano. We're just gonna go crazy. Okay. There we go. Let's mix her up. take our lemon pepper seasoning and we're going to pour it on top of our salmon. You could um, like marinate your salmon in this um, if you're like super prepared and have your life together, but you guys should all know by now that that is not me. And I like to microwave my veggies for a little bit to help them get a little bit um, more of a broil to them when they're in the oven because if they're cooking from frozen they're not gonna you know do as well getting crispy so I'm just gonna add some oil I'm gonna do super simple I'm just gonna do some salt 
and some pepper on our green beans. All right, here is dinner, plated up. Garrett's portion, Garrett's plate, my plate. Yum, yum, yum. Pretty excited about it. All right, guys, that is it. That is all the recipes I have to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed this once for dinner video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and hang out for more videos. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed even the recipes that were a bit of a train wreck. Because that chicken parm was actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I really, really messed up that recipe, it was still pretty good. So I will see you guys in the next video. All right, goodbye.